your word of God beside you here to inform you not to fuse not today, tomorrow. Don't fuse it here. Just hold on. Listen to me for a moment. Right here, if you do not know, a clan versus clan is coming up on Tuesday. And yes, you do have enough time for that clan versus clan to come around before you fuse this champion. Yes, we just finished the fire knight and the champion chase or the champion chase is still going on for this um, not fusion if you've not done so yet please don't fuse him this is thirty thousand points i think yes thirty thousand points that you can obtain to help your clan towards that clan versus clan tournament that is coming up and yes that tournament does have personal rewards attached to it so it's gonna be a might be a difference between how many clan members can hold on to their gnot and not fuse him until that um day tuesday is the day to fuse gnot these four days yes we do have an entire four days so sunday monday tuesday that's three days you have an entire one day to prepare right here and fuse this champion on tuesday on wednesday if you want to be risky but i just wanted to hop in right here to inform newer players who have not yet fused this champion to hold on to it until tuesday and yes you cannot save this fusion it's not one of these fragments that you can just hold on to and fuse them at any time right this is not a fragment summoning champion this is a old school fusion which means after wednesday or is it thursday morning this champion will disappear with all your effort you've put into obtaining the epics and all that the epics and rares will remain in your in your inbox or your champion storage but this champion himself will disappear from this fusion menu so that's a very very big disclaimer that newer players should be informed that these fusions cannot be saved all your effort that you've put into this whole period should be put fused on tuesday without wasting time especially if you're in a clan that needs the amount of points required to you know win so that's the first thing that i wanted to put in right here so what am i doing right now in the game i see a champion training came up and i was like what is playdom doing have they lost their mind guess what champion chase is on champion train is on all that is helping you get even more rewards while you're preparing those rares preparing those epics because everybody was waiting for champion chase before they start leveling up their epic champions right so that's what i was waiting for and right now see all my energy i've been saving a lot of energy about 1700 energy and i started go, to go crazy right now in the campaign taking all those champions from the three star to four star making those four star into the epics and right now i'm going to the campaign just leveling up the epics into the level where they should be level 50 right yes so that's what i'm currently doing right now i just wanted to hop in right, right here and give this little information for those players who are not aware that clan versus clan is coming up on tuesday it has personal rewards attached to it and it's going to be highly competitive because all the big clans already know that they should save their gnot fusion until he drops on tuesday so with that out of the way, I did try to get some secret shards summoning done today. Only one. I picked up one from the clan boss and I did summoning that got an epic. So a 2x secret is still going on. So if you get a secret shard today or tomorrow, Saturday, go ahead and um, summon it. Hopefully you get something nice because nothing is coming up for now. They did also pass on some information that soon all these new dungeons that we are not part of clan versus clan before will be added the sand devil the phantom groves i've not i've not done any video about it because i've not even fought one battle about on this i'll try it maybe a live or on a video soon i've not focused on it i just wanted to finish the gnot fusion before i begin to spend energy on anything else like this for now an advanced quest has not forced us to go beat this boss or get one oil or uh, an ascend an accessory to a particular level we're hoping that advanced quest does not come but i know in Plarium they will add that to the game i think they mentioned it then sand devil necropolis phantom touch grove and one other thing i'm forgetting, forgetting about iron twins fortress many of these things will now be added to giving you cvc points i think there's an announcement coming towards it it's not going to be added to this ongoing cvc it's the next cvc after this one after the update happens so something happened yesterday about a promo code that was being that was you sign up on a website you get the promo code from the website then you put it into you raid it, I thought it was only for newer players. I tried it and it did give me the rare, the epic champion. Where is she? If I've not already used that for food, it gave me an epic champion who I've probably. There she is. So, Talia. It gave a free Talia and some energy and stuff. So, that's a promo code that was used if you just signed up on that website that was advertised. And yeah, it did work for me and I got Talia, which is probably going to be used as food. I don't know if they've patched it yet, but I think there are videos out there already. I don't, I'm not going to share the link 
I forget the site. Check on other HH network. I think that that's where I saw the video and I tried it. It worked out. So that's another news that you might not be aware of that happened. All right. I'm not going to do a separate Noob to Pro update. I just wanted to give this update about Gnot Fusion ending and how far I've come towards it in terms of I've fused all my epic champions right now at 35, 35 and 1 level 1. Getting to 40. I've run out of bruise. That's why I'm doing it through campaign. And then I'm taking this level to 40 and then make it a 5 star. I do have all the foods to make that happen. If I head over to my tavern, I do have a lot of I have a lot of chicken and resources. So I'm not worried about this fusion. I'll just wait, I'll have to wait until Tuesday to get it done. Now, if I switch over to the Noob to Pro, because I do also want to add a Noob to Pro update to this one. Let's switch to the Noob to Pro. I don't want to do a dedicated video on the Noob to Pro because it's not a huge update, right? Let me just squeeze this in for you guys who are watching the Noob to Pro series. Um, a series that we started to get to not... 25 level 25 of all dungeons that's the main priority of the series beat all level 25 of all dungeons and um what else faction wars get lydia from faction war those are the two goals of this series i'm currently i'm on day no that's the wrong menu i'm currently logged in day 15 and already we can we've been farming campaign 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 you, you saw yesterday's video on friday i did pull the two sacred shards we got on the noob to pro the first time we pulled Sacred Shards, we got two amazing epic champions. Not legendaries, but sometimes epic champions are even giving you more satisfaction than some legendary champions you get and you never want to build. So the two epic champions we got yesterday were Ugo and Rhea Guard. So these two champions are game changers from early game all the way to the end game. So bad. they are amazing. So I did ask in the comments in the right previous video who I should build first and both of them are going to hit 40 at least so they can put some gear on them and start being used for faction wars that's important to start getting those early beginner glyphs so that's the first priority right here level 40 level 40 for faction war purposes even the Jamasa that we also summoned is getting closer to a 40. so once i start using them for faction wars i also got talia on this account and i announced it on the discord i shared a screenshot so after they are all 40 we can now start regearing them but slapping some gear on them but i'll start my regear from my top champions right here because this gear is still very very early game and he might be able to get faster gear if i check the uh, hits i even have a yes that's nice yes i did do a spider runner oh, i think this uh, this one i got it from daily login or something not from spider i've not found one level of spider on this account yet or did the mission require me to do so earlier Anyways, that's the first progression that I wanted to share with you. The next thing is that I've actually been playing on the referral accounts. So if I switch over right here and show referral account one, two, and three. So yes, I've been playing it on these accounts all day while the Noob to Pro ran out of energy as usual. So <laughs> we ran out of energy and I logged out of the Noob to Pro and started playing on the ref account. So if I go to the ref program, you can see after collecting the Jamasa, we are currently approaching level 30. This is the first account that I play on the most is 28, while the other two that are just been in the back burner are 23, 23. I'm trying to focus on one account first, like I said, and I'm not playing the three all at the same time. I'm trying to push one first so I can get all those, get to Brutal 12, 3. Once I'm at Brutal 12, 3, this account will be on auto and I can move on to the next one. Right now, I'm not yet at Brutal on that first account. That's why you see me still seeing what i can do about it so still pushing the noob to pro will experience a little bit of slow delay this time around that's why i'm not putting it in a dedicated video this update because it's not a lot going on there is nothing happening besides campaign farming so while i'm doing the campaign farming for all these champions i'm running out of yeah i'm gathering a lot of silver running running out of energy as usual so that's why and i'm even running out of three star and two stars if you scroll right here see i don't have a lot mystery shards i'm lacking mystery shards so now that i do have some i might bring them in and start leveling them again when i run out of two stars and three stars that's when i switch to those epic champions i start leveling up them that's what i'm doing so 84 energy is near, definitely not enough for me to do anything so once i bond this i log out of the account i've spent my clan boss keys for the day i hope or some new one i've already regenerated yes we have a new key and we're currently still doing hard on the clan boss and we've not spent the key today but we did get nothing new on that 
account. The Noob to Pro will also try to see who can save some resources towards the upcoming upcoming clan versus clan so we can get some personal rewards going. What will we be saving books? So <laughs> I know I'm out of epics or legendary skill tomes, but this is the time any epic skill tome I get right now or this period or Sunday or Monday, I will save it up till Tuesday so I can get the most out of my personal rewards in terms of energy for clan versus clan. And all those three star chicken that will come along, I'm waiting for that moment because it really helps me get more five star food. I've also been waiting for champion chase on champion training to take a next champion to 60. So initially we said Dickin will be the champion to 60, but now that we have new champions in terms of Ugo, and royal guard ugo works perfectly at 50. that's a fact you remember she's just there for the decrease defense and block the buff and block buff debuff why royal guard probably don't have the gear to make him work well at 60. so he works well at 60. he's perfect at 60 but we don't have the gear to make his build happen so he's gonna take a chill pill right now we already have attack at 60 so we'll have attack as our main damage dealer for now so royal guy will chill until we want to be the spider who slaps some gear on him he will help us sure but we don't have savage set. we're not gonna be touching the fire knight for now let's head over to the dragon and let me show you some updates in terms of the dungeons that our level have been up to and the first one we always want to beat as a new player is dragon so i've pushed dragon from where we are to level 15. i did try level 16 on auto and we failed so that's why i stayed at 15. it's gonna give us some some um beginner level and gear but this is not a one i'm farming i only came here because that mission advanced mission says beat the dungeons three times that's why i come to do it that's why we're here for ice golem i've not pushed anything oh I think a mission required me to do it. So I think missions, when missions still go and do it, we do push it a little bit. And this one, mission has not required us to do it. I think there's a mission that currently says beat it at level 8. And I'm afraid to push it further than this. Um, what about Mino? We have already showed in a previous video that we can do Mino easily. So once I get a big stack of energy, I'll come in right here. After all these champions had their full masteries, the next champion is probably Royal Guard that I'll add to this masteries. Uh, what's her name? Ugo would not need to be getting masteries anytime soon. The same thing with Dijemasa. We did get Dijemasa, but now we're seeing Ugo and Royal Guard overtaking her in the priorities of champions we need to build. So if we didn't get anything good from that champion, um, Chase, 2x Ancient, then we might build her immediately. But now that we have Ugo and Royal Guard, it seems like Dijemasa will have to be <laughs> in the back burner because those two champions are more essential than her. She might still hit level 50 and do her reviving and all that for us. But number of slots in our team might be limited, except we want to take out somebody. Depending on the battle though, and also affinity matters. Some areas where, um, obviously, Deacon cannot be the Deacon Defense Champion, Ugo will be there for the Deacon Defense purpose. And she will also join our clan boss immediately because she will also be blocking the clan boss increase attack skill that he puts in himself so that's a very big beginner pool to have on this noob to pro so i didn't mention it a lot of it when we pull this champion so i wanted to de de dedicate a little bit part of this video and talk about the account progress on the noob to pro so i will not put this one as a de dedicated video like i say as a noob to pro update but i'll just slide it in somewhere i guess we, do, we don't need to build this champion anymore because now it seems like our clan boss roles are filled up initially i wanted to take him to 50 and use it for clan boss for a while we are not that poor now we have a lot of like three main champions and once Razen comes we won't need his weaken that he does on his A1 which is helping us a little bit though so we're still gonna use him at level 40 and after that he's gonna take his chill pill so he's not priority my epic champions are priority right now all right is there any other thing that I'm missing out on this note to pro tomorrow I'll do some champion guys and put out to you guys right now I'm farming masteries on those champions so expect that tomorrow Sunday while I will not be at the office. Champion guys is what I will post maybe from the home. Alright, you guys let me know what you think about this Note to Pro update. And remember, the main account update about the Gnut Fusion still stands. Wait until Tuesday to fuse that um, champion. If I missed out on anything or if there are any tips and tricks that I'm missing out on, you guys always correct me in the comments below. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily Raid Shadowlands content. Enjoy your weekend, guys.